Mi gente, if there is one recipe you make this fall season, please let it be this one. Let's make pumpkin arroz con leche. Non-negotiable, you're gonna take out your aluminum calderito. If you don't have one, go get one now, it's a must. Add three quarters of a cup of Valencian rice, two and a quarter cups of water, two cinnamon sticks, and bring this to a boil. While it's coming to a boil, I like to go stirring it, making sure that the rice is not sticking to the bottom. And I also push down the cinnamon sticks to make sure that I am completely infusing that rice. Once your rice comes to a boil, turn the heat down to low, cover it, and set your timer for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, your rice should be fully cooked. And again, if you use the aluminum calderito, you shouldn't have any sticking. But if you do have a little bit of sticking, don't worry, it's okay. Next, we're going to remove the cinnamon sticks and then continue to add the rest of our ingredients. And make sure that no rice gets left behind. Scrape it out. You're going to add in a can of evaporated milk and a whole can of sweetened condensed milk aka liquid gold we eat this by the spoonful in this household leave no drop in the can my recipe does not call for any sugar so this is the sweetener make sure you get it all then you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt a splash of vanilla i like to use mexican vanilla blend and a half teaspoon of apple pie spice listen i know it's pumpkin if you have pumpkin pie spice use that I only had apple pie spice on hand and this turned out delicious. Next, I took a 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. This is just pure pumpkin, nothing added to it. And all I did was add three quarters of the can in. If you wanna add more, you wanna add the rest of the can, go ahead and do it. I thought it was too much, so I went with three quarters of the can. Then you're gonna bring your heat back up to medium, medium high, and you're just gonna stir this and give this a lot of love until it starts to thicken up course i had to go in and give it a little taste test and it was better than i expected the best way i can describe this is like if my flan de calabaza and my arroz con leche had a baby and i mean it doesn't get any better than that once you see that your mixture is boiling and it's starting to create that film over the top go ahead and turn your heat off i don't like to let it thicken up too much in the pot because as it cools it will thicken up even more once it looks like this, I go ahead and serve it. This is perfect for me, depending on how you like your arroz con leche. If you like it a little bit runnier, then go ahead and stop it before this point. But this is how I like it. Go ahead and serve it in ramekins or any glass container. I do not recommend plastic. And of course, the best part, give the rapida to your favorite person in the house, which is usually my dad and my son. But you know, the chef gets a little taste. And oh my God, I cannot tell you this warm like this in the caldero get out of here this is how many containers i got it made quite a bit because i did fill them up to the top and as it cooled let me just show you what the consistency looked like as you can see it did thicken up quite a bit guys please give this a try you will not regret it this is definitely a new staple in this house try it out and let me know what you think besitos